And hello, welcome everyone uh, to our discussion on open form. So in this video, we want to talk about the cooling sphere case for the open form seven. Uh, open form seven, uh, what do you call that? Um, yes, open form seven uh, heat transfer case, conjugate heat transfer. So um, this this is something which the ESI version doesn't seem to have. So let me just show you the aliases I have. If you're not sure what an alias is, these are basically just um, shortcut commands, okay? So, for example, I want to change the... I want to enter this uh, file called source open optional opt open form 7 etc. bash rc, which turns on the open form org version. I will use this alias open form org. And likewise, if I want to use the alias esi, I will, it will be this alias over here. If I want to change the alias uh, from the ESI to something else, for example, uh, so I just uh, do a very quick revision. So instead of ESI, I have open form or uh, open form com. open form com so I'm toggling between two versions of open form so I run open form com to switch it back to the ESI version and I do open form org to switch it to uh, to run the source file for this open form com uh, to run the source file for this um, to change it to the OpenFORM version 7. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, that's done. So clear. And the file I'm looking at here is the cooling sphere file. It's just to demonstrate uh, some uh, of the differences between uh, OpenFORM 7 and uh, open form e ESI because the, of course you see the open form ESI version open form com yeah so I'm just gonna turn on the open form ESI version I go to the form tutorial at least for this version and I go to heat transfer okay I go to heat transfer Let's see CHT multi region oh, CHT multi region form. I do not we do not see any uh, kind of uh, uh, heat transfer with re regards to you know a cooling sphere. You see the the um, the tutorial files are slightly different for different version of open form. So if I do the open form org version and then I go to the form tutorials. Yeah, so I, I change the to open form the org and I go to heat transfer CHT multi-region form. So we, we have a few more cases here. Like see we have a heat exchanger, we have a shell and tube heat exchanger, and we have a cooling sphere case. So uh, if you want to do um, what do you call that? Um, if you want to do uh, this heat exchanger cases it, uh, and the uh, cooling sphere cases, open form org seems to have uh, a better set of tutorial cases which we are more familiar with but openform uh, openform.com they what they have it's a, a different compilation of cases where you talk about solar irradiation and all that so to get the best of both you can install both sure but you just need to know how to toggle between both of them okay so anyway um, we are in here uh, we are at the cooling sphere uh, tutorial case, which um, I kind of copied from here into one of my folders. Okay, and I want to do an all run. Okay, so I'm doing an all run end. So it's going to run all of this. So apparently, this this syntax is slightly different from uh, the ESI version, but it'll still run a CHT multi region form and a reconstruct parallel. And let's take a look at the CHT multi-region form uh, log. 
Now apparently there is some error here. And the main error, the main error is because uh, probably there's some uh, parallel processing error. Alright, so if you take a look at the all run, you take a look at the all run file, it's basically very similar. I mean, you can of course change this to bash because this is the environment that Ubuntu likes. So this file, yeah, is the usual we have. Uh, and we have uh, run functions. We run all mesh first, which is the setup. And then we run the application form setup CHT, which is slightly different from ESI version. And this, this will copy the zero directory file from perhaps one of the from perhaps one of the uh, templates, okay? Yeah, it'll run, set up from the templates and then you'll run the decompose parallel and you run paraform, which is uh, basically you're just uh, doing a touch, touch uh, whatever form, you know? Uh, touch uh, whichever form you want. So um, it will give you this uh, fluid open form, solid open form, and cooling sphere dot open form. So yeah, this is what it will give you. So you can use Paraview to open these files. So we saw that the problem uh, was uh, some somewhat of a parallel, uh, parallel, uh, you know, uh, what do you call that? A parallel uh, running problem. So you can get rid of the problem by. No, doing all clean first and I want to copy all run all run uh, all run serial okay so I'm just going to all run serial all run serial file here and I want to get rid of this line which says decompose power which we don't need and instead of run parallel, we can just run the application CHD multi region form. Yep. Save and quit. Let's see how this works. So it's going to run for a while. And this time, it doesn't look like it's too problematic. Cooling sphere and let's see the log.cht multi region form. So it's actually running pretty nicely. So there, there's a very small time step. So as it's running, let me you know explain the case to you so as an example. Um, yeah, we can go to system. And we take a look at the FV schemes, uh, fluid FV schemes, to see how it's set up. Oh, it should be a VI, sorry. VI fluid uh, FV schemes. All right, so it's interesting here. You take a look at the DDT schemes. This is a Euler scheme. Gradient scheme, we have a Gauss linear by default. And if we want to use the limited term, we the limited uh, version. So I, I make quite a few videos in my heat transfer. Um, um, what do you call that? Tutorial files, and they should explain uh, what this uh, what FV schemes is about. And everywhere you see limited, because this actually defines what the limited variable means. You will copy and whenever you use this dollar sign and limited, it will it will actually refer to this variable and say, okay, the ver the value of gradient u, you will have this cell limited Gauss linear one. Likewise, we have the divergent schemes, uh, divergent of phi and u. That will be Gauss linear upwind limited. Likewise for turbulence. Okay, so we define a variable turbulence here. And for all the turbulence uh, terms, like phi and k, phi, uh, phi omega, phi epsilon, so this is a k epsilon or k omega model, uh, it will be using all, the, all of these uh, terms. And then likewise for all these other variables as well, 
it will still use the turbulence terms and here will be uh, the other the other things that you need to interpolate uh, this one will deal with the stresses I'm not gonna go too deep so this is the file and let's take a look at the control dictionary vi control dictionary and okay we see the start time starts from start time start time is zero end time is one so it's a one second simulation and uh, it runs for every uh, the delta t is 5 times 10 to the minus 4 so it's a very uh, small thing a small simulation and we can see oh yes you can see the data actually coming out very nicely and if we take a look at constant yeah we see the solid and these are the thermal physical properties for the solid which it looks oh, it's very nice that they put all the units there it looks like copper 63.5 and it's a temperature independent uh, temperature independent uh, properties okay and go back let's go to the fluid and let's see what kind of fluid they are so the fluid here it looks like it's a perfect gas means uh, 28.9 this is basically air the the Prandtl number is 0 0.7 dynamic viscosity is 1.8 and 10 to the minus 5 which is basically what air is so this is uh, some copper sphere cooling in air this is what we are actually running and the turbulence properties are as follows here we use they use a k omega ssd model we're not average uh, navier stokes there's an option for les uh, model but the simulation type here is the Reynolds average navier stokes so we can we can use a les if we, uh, we change the simulation type from ras to les here but this these are some of the options that are being given here which are very useful to do okay so let's uh, let's just uh, take a look at uh, yeah we see that it's uh, putting uh, new uh, information up and I'll just run paraview okay I'll run paraview and let's see open four open from seven and now use the cooling sphere and looks like there's nothing there to look at except for these open form files okay so it looks like uh, i mean the, the format or they are being used the output format of the output files is slightly different and the format of the output files is slightly different so we can actually use all files but and the paraview will not be able exactly to read it very well so we can try using a, a touch para, para, uh, paraview of form or something like that um, okay touch touch sphere dot form let me see whether this works okay so go up one and go down one to reload and there you go sphere.foam is here and this is what it looks like and we'll use a wireframe plot and we see there's a sphere here very nice very nice sphere okay very nice sphere here and if you use a slice plot slice plot okay now move the slice plot up to the sphere we can actually see uh, the kind of uh, things that are going on. So I change this to a temperature field. Okay, I turn this off. And we can see the effects there. Okay, so I can play. Okay. So you can see that the, the sphere is actually cooling with in the presence of air. The three hundred and fifty Kelvin sphere going at, at a 
at the air and of course we can take a look at the mesh we can take a look at the mesh uh, surface with edges oh yeah it's a very nice mesh you can see that okay and look at the look at how nicely the mesh is structured around the sphere yep so this is what the mesh looks like so it's just to give you an understanding of you know how how um, a good a good stable mesh should look like especially if we have this uh, spherical case and yeah this is a working working case without uh, any instabilities which uh, they were experienced before when we doing some um, tools so this is an example of what a good mesh should look like okay so uh, yeah I mean I don't see any natural convection uh, plumes over here maybe maybe they're on the other side okay okay so let's see clear and yeah maybe we need to look at different angles so I'll just do another slice plot slice number two and I'll use a x y normal okay and I'll use a t partial yes and you see it's a uh, it's a uh, it's showing up I just press f5 here for a minute yeah look at that it's a uh, it's a sphere that's cooling off pretty quickly uh, let me rotate it 90 degrees and let me show you that surface is edges yeah so this is what the what it looks like uh, there is some there's some turbulence there I think yeah when you look from a different angle it's much easier right surface oh, it looks beautiful okay so you can see some of the eddies going on and all so that, that's fine that's fine that's a very good thing to have um, yeah so yeah this is uh, this is actually the, the cooling sphere case for open form 7 uh, so we, we need to know there are some differences with between open form 7 and open form ESI uh, yeah so thanks for watching uh, hopefully this was helpful uh, to go through the cases and especially if you're trying to set up your own uh, cooling sphere case uh, you should see what the mesh looks like and what are the methodologies being used here uh, especially with regards to um, turbulence, dealing with turbulence. Okay. Yeah. And okay. I mean, just for fun, let's look at the boundary conditions. Okay. So this is a fixed uh, value. Internal field zero. U inlet is ten. So this is a it's a force convection flow. All right. So force convection flow. Um, it's not natural convection. Uh, and we look at the K, oops, V I K, and they have a fixed uh, fixed uh, turbulent kinetic energy. And okay, there's a fixed turbulent kinetic energy based on the inlet. Can you see this uh, boundary condition here? And the apparent viscosity, turbulent viscosity, all zero, um, omega. It's based on some omega. It's a mixing length, uh, mixing length kind of a thing. So yeah, that's that's it. Okay. Oh, we have a turbulent alpha as well, which is uh, for the heat transfer uh, uh, turbulence uh, convection. So yeah, this is this is essentially what the cooling sphere case is like for of a force convection. Uh, CHT multi-region foam conjugate heat transfer for open foam version 7 which uh, open foam ESI doesn't have but open foam ESI has lots of other cases so yeah thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time bye bye